Hello, I'm Anne Alden. I'm the acting head at St Stephen's in South Hodston. Thanks, Anne. And what would you say uh, was your primary objective in bringing dance onto the curriculum in the, in the way that you have for the school? Yeah, we've used our sports premium money because we felt that this was an area that perhaps our staff didn't have that level of expertise to teach dance. And so we decided to, um, or Premier Sports approached us and asked us if we'd like to consider dance as part of the um, provision they could offer. And that actually really excited us because it meant actually we could use our sports premium money to enable our staff to um, gain deeper insight into how a dance curriculum could be articulated to our children by an expert. So Anne, um, and what kind of reaction have you had from the children? Really enjoyable. Um, Imogen's been really good at having really engaging, dynamic, loud music. So as they've come in, they've had a real expectation and an excitement of something different going on. Um, it's been bouncy, it's been very engaging. She's used the interactive whiteboard really effectively to um, use images and promote what she wants to do. She's been very clear about what the session's going to involve. And um, but again, the children haven't had to sit down and you know listen to all that for a long time. She's been snappy and sharp, getting that articulated clearly so that then they've been moving. And so if you walk past the hall while she's in there, the children are engaged. They're all um, you know, moving in the way that has been suggested. But again, there's some free movement as well. So it's not like they've had to do a set routine. Um, they've been able to put their own, um, their own personality onto what the dance involves as well. Um, but it just looked engaging and, and motivating. So yeah, she's done a really good job. What would you say um, to other schools with regards to how Premier Performing Arts have come in and aligned ourselves and integrated with the themes, the termly themes that the year groups uh, have been running? Well, Imogen was really good. She met with both class teachers. She's been doing um, some work with our year sixes and she's been doing work with our year ones. Our year sixes are doing a theme related to World War One, and our year ones are doing a theme um, for God's garden. So she met with those class teachers to identify what did they want as the emphasis of what was going on. She also, They also shared with her the, the learning journey that that learning was going to take. So she had a really good understanding about the essence of the learning and then she shaped the dance to capture that. So children were drawing on their knowledge of um, their linked learning through the week, was then being drilled down in terms of being articulated through the dance they were doing as well. So it, it just dovetailed really nicely together. And then next week, those two year groups are going to do a performance for the rest of the school. So again, those children know that they're, they're moving towards an end product as well, a sort of finished performance. So they've gone on the whole journey of, of what's involved in dance, which has been, which has been lovely to see. Well, I started dancing when I was three, and then when I was 16, I went to ballet school. And after I went to ballet school, I got a job teaching. And so I started teaching on a Saturday, and from there, I started teaching more full time. I really enjoy it when all the students are listening and working well and when we can start to see the dance come together. That's my favourite bit.